Mm. Nominee, corruption cases have been a major problem in the health uh, sector. Um, Some time back there were those clinics that were bought, um, you know, containers that were being charged at about 10 million apiece which was highly exorbitant. And uh, recently also you've seen when uh, we had COVID, there were scandals at KEMSA. And there was even a recent scandal under this regime, which uh, led to the dismissal of the PS then of uh, health. What, what, uh, what will you do to minimize or if possible, completely eradicate this menace of corruption in that health sector? A consultative effort. It is important that we think uh, strategically, involve the various stakeholders involved, the National Technical uh, Working Group, the PSAs and DGs, to understand, uh, to, co to conduct a situational analysis and see where the gaps are. But from my opinion, I think that we need to strengthen the processes and procedures that exist. And one of the ways is through a digital platform. That way, we reduce the human-to-human -human interface. We can be able to track, say, for instance, how a Panadol gets Panadol from batch 001 gets from the national up to the patient's hand. Yeah, and so we'll be able to ensure that there is a seamless flow. So I am an advocate for the digital uh, platform. Equally, we can involve um, external bodies to monitor. Um, also the, the challenges that are involved therein and we can have routine meetings and feedback. Additionally, we need to have accountability and visibility uh, frameworks and also work together with the various commissions to address the issue of corruption.